Hi, we are Soul Cell and we are finally back. Our new album Medal of Faith will be released in a few weeks after five years of hard work since our debut Back to Life. Five years, it's a very long time, but we haven't sat around twigging our thumbs. We had to rebuild the band. Many things can happen in five years. Some band members took other paths and we've been through many things. Separation, divorces, health problems, work difficulties and much turmoil. But in our mind, we had the will to be stronger than everything and win the challenges that life put us through. We held on and we started it over again. We never gave up even if at some point it seemed that all the odds were against us. The new album reflects everything we went through. It's real, it's raw and it's powerful. You can literally find everything about us inside of it. We are living in our times and each and every one of us had to face their own wars and demons. Let's say it's a mirror that reflects ourselves and the world of 2016. We are very proud of Matter of Faith because it's a clear step forward if compared to the previous work. Back to Life gave us great satisfaction and uh, sounds good even today, but many things of that album were heavily derived and influenced by its sounds and by the bands we grew up with. While with this album we wanted and looked for a soul seller sound, no matter what the cost. The change of the 50% of the band led us to completely reconsider our idea of sound. Being a live band we needed a sound that reflected who we are and what you'll hear during our show. Each of the new members of the band heavily influenced the final result. We are all composers and arrangers. It was inevitable. The album was produced again by our friend and great producer Alessandro Del Vecchio. This time, differently from Back to Life, it's been a real challenge for him and for us too. We went beyond the standards dictated by the melodic rock market. We wanted to be modern but classic, powerful but melodic, raw but polished. Our determination and his experience allowed us to reach the result we had in our minds. That's what you call teamwork, man. Musically speaking, you can find everything inside of it. It's powerful, it's hard rock with a particular focus on melody. Melody remains the cornerstone of Soul Cellar, but today it is supported by many solutions that we didn't own before. We are all and we always be fans of melodic rock and bands like Journey, Toto or Bon Jovi. But there's more to us. Our influences encompass different styles, from Led Zeppelin to Dream Theater, from Aerosmith to Megadeth, without forgetting the new generation like Alter Bridge, Shine Down or Rival Stones, whom we look at with a lot of interest. This is why the album is extremely heterogeneous. You will listen to classic rock with Tide Is Down and Get Away From The Light to melodic rock with Get Stronger and Strangers Apart to modern rock with Given To Live and Wipe Your Tears Away. If musically speaking we made one step forward, lyrically speaking we definitely made two. In Back to Life you could find lyrics written over a large period of time, some even dated back when I was 20, and they reflected the joys of a guy who wanted to realize his dreams and spread his music worldwide. But that guy has grown up and from the little and selfish vision of himself, he opened to a world that is everything but happy. A world that is more and more distant and constantly at war, a world with a several generational, social and environmental conflict, a world screaming for help. 
these lyrics are very profound and introspective where you will find that grown up 20 year old boy struggling to believe in something and only feels the unrestrained injustice in this world. It wasn't supposed to be a concept album but in the end we realized that that album had a late motif and this led to the creation of an artwork closely linked with the themes of the album. For the development of the artwork, we began by analyzing the songs of the album. As we went through the sounds of the lyrics, we found out a marked distinction into two groups, like two different words. These two words, one more sunny and positive and the other one more obscure and troubled, were put into image as if Earth was taken in a transition from life and destruction. Believing that things can change in better ways, or abandoning oneself to an obscure and decadent destiny, is the choice left to each of us. To enhance this concept, we added the white dove, a symbol of peace and purity in contrast with the crowd, usually messenger of bad news of a doomed destiny. Inside the booklet, we decided to dedicate a lot of space to the lyrics, combined with evoking images that strongly represented the profound meaning of the songs. Think of it as the guide that will lead the listener through Soul Cellar Mind. The first single is Tide Is Down, which is probably one of the heaviest songs we've ever written. It's a pure classic hard rock song, but is absolutely in step with our wheel of evolution and change. The energy around this track has always been very high, and everyone, from the producer to the label, have pushed to hear it as the first single. We are very satisfied with the choice, because it shows a massive side of our band, and it really contains a great performance of a whole band, especially of our singer Eric. As we already said before, we consider us a live band and we are working hard and pushing the band in this direction for the future. Unfortunately, in Italy, it isn't always very simple to find places where you can promote your songs, but we're making a great effort to be able to reach as many fans as possible and export our music in other countries. We are proud of Matter of Faith and we really can't look forward for you to hear it. We are sure you will love it and our hope is to be able to deliver you many emotions. We really hope to see you all very soon at one of our concerts. Thank you. Bye.